Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. A few months ago, I have got an antenna from Gu Zi Zhu, spelled just the way it sounds. And I had problems with it. Well, first of all, they sent me a nice little Yagi. That, that looked great. But then they sent me this, the JPC-7. Comes in this nice little case. I set it up. I had some problems with it. I couldn't get it to tune. Well, a few months later, or a month or so later, I'm working on a new antenna for Coffee and Ham Radios, and I know this antenna is pretty close, and it shows up really, really good. And then I come back and we reset it up, and it shows really, really bad. The problem I had was coax. And I'm pretty sure that's the same coax I used when I tested this the first time. I want to thank Guzi Zoo for sending this to me so I can evaluate it for you guys and let you know what I think of it. All the opinions will be my own. They reached out to me and asked me why I hadn't done the video, and I said I had some problems with it. And they said, if you have any more problems, contact us and we'll talk to the design people and see what may be going wrong. So it ended up being a, the coax. So I set this up yesterday just to make sure that's what it was. And, and I actually set it up wrong. I forgot. I didn't put the, it's a little ballon that you put in. You have two little things. I put them in the wrong place the first time. And I'm like, oh my God, it's, it wasn't my coax, but it was pretty sure. Now in the case, we have a few parts and it basically comes with the case and then it comes with some coils. The coils are to make this thing shorter, the, the full length of it so that it fits in tighter places. It also has stainless steel whips, has two of each of these. Um, it has four aluminum tubes which make it extended and basically it, it loads it farther out from the, from the middle of the antenna, which, which usually is a better way to do it. It also comes with a one-to-one -one ballon. The ballon uh, looks fairly well made. Almost looks like carbon fiber, but I think it's just a piece of tape on there. And the last thing they had is the center mount. And the center mount is good and bad. There's good things about it, bad things about it. And I'll talk about that more when we set it up. So I'm gonna take this out to the park today where I have more room and uh, set this up. Now these antennas are gonna be a little bit of a compromise. Anytime you use coils, and I don't care who makes the antenna, there's going to be some loss, so expect that, that it's not going to be as good as a full-size dipole. All right, let me show you the part I hate the least about this antenna, and I think it could be more thought out. I think I have a couple ways to fix it, and uh, make sure you subscribe because I'll do a follow-up on this later. I've got two different ways. One's easy, one's a little more difficult depending on the tools you have. But this right here is this part right here. I don't know what this thread is here. It looks like a solid piece of aluminum that's been milled down. Um, there's also an M10 up here. These are M10s. But it goes in a, basically, a, it's a light stand for, and this goes in here like this, and then this, this just tightens down. Like I said, right now this is a little loose because I'm, I'm gonna raise it and, and everything will tighten up. I've got it guyed out over there, over there, over there. So it's in between two, these three. So it's going here. So I've got that and that and that and then three other ones in between. Let me set this thing up and we'll see how it works. All right, let me show you what I've got. So I've got it set in a north-south because I'm on the west coast. I wanna go as much if I get any directivity out of this thing, I want to go east or west or west. Okay. So you got this hooked up. This is a ballon. I've got two of these. These are the aluminum poles, then the coil, then the whips. And the whips are all the way out. It says to put them all the way out. Now you can now you uh, you can adjust the whips for certain bands. I was able to get 20 and 40 with them fully extended with no problem. We'll see what it does out here. I'm at a different place. I wanted to get more room. I'm a little ways away from the trees, as you can see. In my house, I can't get that far away. Let's tune this thing up and see how it works. All right, as you can see, we are at a little over four to one. I'm gonna go one, not one uh, notch at a time. I find it easier to do it by putting one my thumb against one side and moving it towards that side. So we are going to go shorter. I should have changed a little right there. I did one. Sorry for the noise. It's garbage day here today. And then there's another one. 
So now I'm away from it. Hopefully we're down in a decent area. And we're not. Hmm. I had this a minute ago, just perfect. Let me change it again. All right, I am two in from the red line for 40, and I'm at like 1.4. So that's good. We're gonna start there and lift it up. Okay, by lifting it, we went down to 1.3, and it's about 12 feet high. So let me hook a radio up to it and see if my buddies are on down in San Diego, LA area. All right, this is a noontime net, early check-ins. It's really busy. This guy's a seven call. Bullhead City. So that's a decent distance. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. <laughs> this might be in late. Good signal out of Nevada, though. So signals are good. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Okay, so now we're on 20 meters. Uh, th that's the bands I use the most. I know it'll do, if it'll do these two bands, it should do all of them. You may have to shorten the the uh, whips a little bit sometimes, but uh, let's do this. I, I'm already just barely, what is it, 2 point, this is 2.7. So I'm gonna go, I'm on the little red marks for 20. So I'm gonna go move them, let's see, out. I think out one. I think this, this antenna actually will work better on the higher bends. There's one notch, should have changed a little bit. And there's two notches. Like I said, when you put this thing up, it usually gets a little bit better. So let's see where we're at now. We we're two seven. Oh, now we're worse. So let's go the other way. So we'll go two back the other way. So two shorter. All right, I'm just gonna adjust one side down. Actually, uh, first I'll check, make sure I'm exactly where I'm supposed to think I am. Okay, yeah, there's, I'm gonna do one side down. That one was on the red mark. Oh, yeah, we went off. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that now. I'm gonna leave that. We're gonna play with that there. So, we're at 285. Usually I go more like 250, 250. But as you can see, it's pretty wide banded. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Let me hook up to the radio and we'll see if we can maybe hit some POTA guys. All right, let me show you what I was actually doing. I didn't really show you the coil and how you adjust it, but let me show that to you now. So let me get closer. Okay, what we have here is the coil. You have a, a line here, a red line, and then a line, one here. One is 40, one is 20. I believe this one is 20. Now what I was doing to adjust it, because it's really easy to move more than one, I would put one finger against it, and then kind of hold tension, and do a click at a time. It's real easy to do multiple clicks, okay? So, one of these at each end of the antenna, and it works pretty good. These, I actually like the way this one's made because you can just, instead of having places where you pick on here, you can just adjust this thing up and down to get it where you need it. All right, it may seem that it took a long time to adjust this, but for the camera and for the video, I was, you know, 20, 30 feet away, maybe more, and I was walking back and forth. If I was doing this uh, for real for myself and not trying to put it on the camera so you guys could see what was going on when I changed things, I would have my, my meter with me closer to the antenna and be able to make quicker adjustments. So it, it, even though it seemed like it took a while to go back and forth, and I did cut some of that out for you guys, it, it's faster if you're actually setting it up for yourself and not videoing it. Okay, when I get more time, I also want to try and set this up in a delta loop. I think it's going to be pretty easy. I know on other types of delta loops, sometimes they use the tuning part, like the coil, but they only use it on one side. I'll probably try both ways and then figure out which is best and then do a video on that. And don't forget, I am going to show you later in another video how to make this thing more usable for most of us. Or don't have photography type equipment, which is what this kind of is for setting it up. I can uh, I can do you the three eighths or half inch. I have a mask that has half inch threads at the top that I could easily put this in and get it up over 20 feet. 
So may, stay tuned for that. So I mentioned earlier in the video, there's your two places that it tells you to start at for 40 and 20, but also is the different configurations. There's one configuration, there's what we did, there's flat, and then there's a, a uh, basically a slant, okay? This is 250, this is where we tuned it at. I've got it on FM. Of course there's somebody there, but I'm just gonna do a quick watch right here. Watch SWR, no SWR, hardly at all. So let's just see what we're out there. Let's turn it up. We'll go back to upper side bend. This sounds like kids on the air thing. So check this out, we'll pick it up, CB channels. So if you guys are into CB, it works here. You just have to tune it there. I'm not tuned there. Okay, so this is what I think is the biggest problem with the antenna. You see how low it is? Uh, 12 feet maybe. I have a way I think of getting this thing up about 20 some feet, which would definitely help, especially on the higher bands. But this is gonna be one of the biggest drawbacks to this antenna. Now, you may have a better tripod to put it on, but uh, I don't. Well, I do, but not the way it's hooked up right now. But uh, I think I'll, make something to make this so I can get up higher and then we'll try it again. But like I said, that's about, well, I'm six foot. Let me step in front of it for you guys. I can, I can, my hand goes about almost eight. So yeah, not that tall. That's the biggest drawback I think to this whole antenna. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a nice little antenna, very well built. The case is well built all the parts seem to be mechanically well done like i said earlier in the video it is a compromised antenna and like any coil based antenna is going to be a little bit of a compromise even your big yaggies for 40 when they use coils it's not as good as a full size yaggy but close okay so if you enjoyed the video please hit the like and if you're new here hit the subscribe button hit the bell hit all that way you'll get all my future videos i'm chuck kk6usy this is Ham Radio Ventures. Thank you for joining me today. 73 all, and hope to catch you guys on the airwaves, and maybe I'll be on a JPC-7.